What's going on to you, Virgos? So you have the Tower, the Magician, the Queen of Cups. So, <clears throat> um, huge transformations. Uh, transformations in ways that are challenging for you, Virgos, but are most definitely necessary. The reason why I'm saying that is because the, the Tower and the Magician, right? The Tower represents um, transformations like I was talking about. And the things that you held as important, ideas specifically that you've held as important are now coming tumbling down, right? They don't mean as much to you anymore as they used to for you Virgos. So you Virgos now have the magician, which is about now it's up to you to change the fate of the tower, which is destruction, nothing, things being torn apart, ideas being torn apart, what is what was once important to you, Virgos, now being used to fuel another part of your life to make you better overall. The magician right here represents how you, which is Virgo, mind you, but for you, Virgos, it represents how you have to flip it. You have to turn this um, ideas that you have walked away from and turn it into something that is actually working for you. So this isn't necessarily you letting go as of now, because I'm early in the reading, about you letting go of other people. This is more so about you, Virgos, letting go of ideas and things that you were attached to, right? Ideas. So the Queen of Cups represents these are ideas that you legitimately love that you were attached to, but this is something that you've actually been meaning to walk away from for a while. So um, whatever it is that you Virgos are attached to, whether it's people, but more so I'm getting ideas, let go of it. Let go, you know, let go of the idea because the more attached you are to the idea is the worse things are for you you Virgos won't be able to actually evolve and perfect yourself the way that a lot of you Virgos probably want to or do better, right? Um, so as a result, um, you, you Virgos have had a real serious choice to make. That's why you got the justice. You have a real choice to make. And the choice will be 100% up to you whether or not you are going to continue to stay on some tower type stuff where you are attached to this idea, right? Ideas of others, ideas of whatever it is that you are attached to, right? The ideas of um, the level that you are now or in the level of skill, or if you actually move past through that level and you do something more important, it'll be 100% up to you, right? So. As a result of this, a lot of you Virgos are going to have to think uh, deeply about whether you are ready for this new um, profound understanding and level of and level of being, or if you are not really ready for that. And once again, it'll be up to you but you have to let the truth be told don't lie don't try to don't lie don't try to make it seem like um you're you're ready for more than what you actually are right truth be told just be honest with yourself and the thing is that the the devil card represents because the devil card represents the inherent the 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 danger that's 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 coming along with it. And what I mean by that is if you Virgos know that you're not ready and you rush yourself into a crazy situation, what's going to happen here is is that and you and you change, you try to change too much for you Virgos, this is not going to be something where you this is a routine that you can stick to. This is not going to be a habit that you Virgos can actually stick with. This will be a situation for you uh Virgos where literally right for you virgos where literally um you will fail at it you're going to come up short and a lot of you virgos are going to be trying to figure out well you're trying to make these these big changes in your life how come they're not actually being sustained 
Part of the reason why is because you're not changing one thing at a time or you're not starting off with, with the little things. And another reason why things aren't, <coughs> things wouldn't necessarily work for you if you're not really serious about actually uh, making that serious change is due to the fact that your heart isn't necessarily in it. A lot of the times people want to understand Virgos a little bit more. And, and truth be told, the best way to get a Virgo really involved in something or in a project for any of the cross watchers watching, or just for you Virgos to understand yourself, is that your heart has to be involved. The Virgos' heart has to essentially be involved. Like if a Virgo's heart is not involved, they're not going to, remember, they're standing right next to Leo. They're the zodiac sign after Leo, and Leo rules the heart. You understand what I'm saying? So there's a there's a lot of there's a an, a there's an occult relationship between Leo and Virgo. So the thing is, is that if a Virgo's heart is not in it, if y'all heart for the Virgos who are listening are not in it, if your heart is not in it then it's not going to be a sustainable change because you know you start you start off small right how i began dressing the way that i was able to dress now right started in 2017 and i slowly did the different um changes over time right first i used to wear the baggy joints right i didn't change my my clothes up until 2017 right then then it went from um it went from baggy clothes and stuff like this to now the straight leg joint you know what i'm saying the black straight leg joint right you know looked weird but i was trying out different things then it went from the the, the straight leg joint to the skinny jeans then it went from that to the 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 ankle socks you know the socks that that cover your your foot or your feet and everything like that but they don't go up to the to the um the ankle and beyond and everything you know then i got the then i got the boxer briefs up underneath the the pants and everything to to wear so it doesn't look weird or whatnot and then slowly but surely the wardrobe just came together the 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 fitted the fitted uh shirts the colognes you understand what i'm saying stuff like that it just slowly came together you know but these are small changes that had to happen over time if i would have jumped into all of it it may have been a culture shock for me a little bit, you know, may, may, not necessarily, but it could have been. But the point is the easiest way is to essentially, uh, you know, slither your way into a little bit. So you Virgos now have the Four of Cups and the Knight of uh, Swords. Okay. It's going to be a little bit difficult. Um letting go okay it's going to be a little bit difficult letting go of some of the people that you virgos even know even some people that you virgos have essentially grown somewhat attached to where you maybe have been getting to know a couple of people and they've shown you a little bit of uh they've shown you virgos a little bit of uh of potential but they just turned the corner and done some stupid stuff. Well, the Wheel of Fortune represents you, Virgos, you know, implement the philosophy. Don't hold on to anything or to anyone too tightly because it's a the tables have turned, the Wheel of Fortune. It's a you thought that you was getting somewhere with the person, with someone that you were trying to get to know, and they turned the corner on you. They showed you that they're, they are a hyena. They are a dysfunctional individual and you realize that you can't hang around them. They went from being someone to you that is someone that you could have gotten to know long-term to now being the bottom of the barrel. So you Virgos can't take that seriously. So what do you gotta do? You gotta leave them alone. And then now the 10 of uh, Pentacles and the Knight of Wands, for you, um, you have to save yourself. You know, this person probably wants to go on all of these expensive trips and dates and restaurants and all this other type of crap. And for you, Virgos, 
y'all know good and well that y'all are not into that type of stuff y'all don't even want to y'all don't even want to like y'all don't want to be take y'all don't want to do anything that y'all don't want to do y'all don't you virgos don't want to take people out on these expensive dates like like I, you know what i'm saying like i remember how terrible it felt to like want to have to impress this individual or whatnot until i realized how trash that was and i stopped trying to do that i'm not saying that you know i'm gonna be a a, a like a slob just be you know what i'm saying disgusting and all this stuff but it's like trying to break the bank and all of that like i'm not doing that i'm not doing that. i'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that anymore. And you Virgos, the rest of you shouldn't be doing that as well. You know, you should be looking for cheap ways to get to know people. Um, this could be the, this could be, you may have smashed this person, right? In very fast amount of time or in a very quick amount of time. And this person is giving you problems. Because this person turned the corner on you where you thought that this person was rocking with you and they and they look like they were, but now all of a sudden they stopped they they just stopped being the type of person who you originally was with from the very beginning and now they turned into someone brand new. And now you Virgos, again, the wheel of fortune, you have to detach yourself from the idea of the person that you met. Okay. Or the idea of you potentially being in a relationship with them. Cause I'm saying because I'm seeing big time y'all hung out with this person and like y'all got into it romantically. And yeah. <laughs> so let's clarify the Knight of Wands. Matter of fact, let's clarify the um the devil card. The Knight of Cups. Four of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. The Nine of Cups and the Four of Pentacles is that um, you tried to get to know them a little bit. You wanted to get to know them, but you were still a little bit apprehensive because you didn't, because the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, you didn't know if this person just was using that initial romantic interest as a means of getting you virgos to actually like spend money on them right to feel obligated the three of wands represents well it you uh virgos don't feel obligated at all seeing this person's behavior because you're just gonna go out and get to know other people so overall my suggestion for you virgos is to apply pressure Ask these people what's going on and find out an answer. Um, and if they give you an answer, uh, if, if they give you an answer like, oh, well, you know, we're together, pay attention to the value of the relationship. And if the relationship doesn't go well enough, then uh, stay away from them, right? Um, you ain't got to really say anything. Just stay away from them. Um or if you want, if you have to say something to them, let them know, Virgo, that it's not working out for you. Now, for you Virgos, where, you know, the person is saying how the two of you are not in a relationship, well, then if the two of you aren't in a relationship, then, you know, there's no reason why the two of you, why this person should be upset and, and going crazy that you Virgos are, you know, doing your own thing or you Virgos aren't really making much of the fact that the two of you probably smashed. So that's it. That's all I got for you.